I managed to figure out a combo in Mermail that lets you bring out Kali Yuga in your opponent's turn. Like a lot of explosive Mermail combos, you're going to need Teus, you're going to need Diva. There's a lot of other ways to do this combo, I'm just going to do it the simplest way, and then I'll talk more about the combo later. So first thing you're going to do, of course, you're going to want to normal summon your Diva, activate the effect, special summon a Prince from your deck, use Prince's effect, send your goons, add your goons, and you're going to want to add a Megalo as well. Then you're going to use Abyssteus' effect, you're going to discard your goons, special summon Abyssteus, Use both of their effects. You're going to grab a prince off of the dragoons, if I can find one, and you're going to grab your abyss gund off of the abyss and you're gonna do that. So you have three cards in hand. Well, actually, you have six cards in hand because you're gonna have. I'll just use these called by the graves to represent blanks. Uh, it doesn't matter what these cards are. If they're extenders, cool. If they're dead cards, whatever. It could be three genus controllers. It, it doesn't matter. So from here, what we're gonna do is we're going to want to link to. I'm going to link the Diva and the Teus. Make sure you link the Teus. The other monster doesn't really matter. It could be the Diva or the Prince. I just like to leave the Prince on board. It'll probably never come up. Uh, and you're going to want to go into Abyss, or excuse me, uh, Starboy or Coral and Enemy. It doesn't matter as long as it's not Abyss Alacia. You can't go to Abyss Alacia. So then you're going to want to summon Megalo. Discard the Prince and the Gun. Special summon Megalo. It doesn't really matter where you put it. Just don't block both of your zones. Megalo's effect is going to activate. You're going to get the scale. Doesn't really. You don't really need the scale that much. You're going to use both Prince's effect and Gun's effect. Gun is going to bring back the Abysteus, and then Prince is going to bring back the Dragoons. Then from here, we're going to overlay Abyss Megalo and Abysteus into uh, Odd Eyes Absolute Dragon, actually. So, the funny thing about this combo is we need to go to Curious, and Odd Eyes Absolute happens to be a water. So we have a Water Dragon, a Water Aqua, and a water sea serpent. This was Coral and Enemy, the water cybers. Obviously, you don't want to use Coral and Enemy's effect because then you can't summon Kali Yuga or you can't summon uh, Raging Tempest Dragon. So make sure you do this. So you're going to want to link these three for a link three into Curious. You're going to want to do chain link to the Absolute Dragon, chain link one Curious. You're going to special summon Raging Tempest. I don't have a Odd Eyes Raging Tempest. It is a level seven Pendulum Exceed monster that has Odd Eyes in the name. That's, that's all that matters. I'm sure you guys know what the card is. You're going to want to use Curious's effect, you're going to send Boots to the graveyard, and then you're going to activate uh, the other effect of Curious to mill 3 because it's mandatory. Now, this is where the combo gets a little bit volatile, is because if you mill the rank up spell, you kind of just you can't do anything else. So then we're going to banish the Boots, and we're going to bring out our rank up spell. So now here what you could do is you could just set the rank up spell and that's it. But one thing that's kind of cool is since we have the Abyss Scale as well, one of the ways your opponent can get around the Kali Yuga combo is if they just Cosmic Cyclone in the standby phase, because you cannot hit this in the main phase. So you can set both of them, just play some mind games. Uh, that way if they have Cosmic Cyclone MST, they can't hit both. Uh, and then of course what you can do is you can link these two into an Appaloosa if you really want to. Uh, so you're going to want to set this, opponent's main phase, you're going to flip this, summon Kali Yuga. Uh, this is going to get attached to... And yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, it's I'm not really sure if this is like an optimal thing to do in Mermail, to be honest. Like, it, sure, it's cool. But the thing is with Mermail is you can summon other stuff a lot easier. Like, you can get into VFD really, really easily. I know VFD is not as good, but it's still really, really good. Uh, so let me know in the comments, I guess, what you think, if this is even really worth running. Because it, it does require some commitment. Like, in the main deck, you gotta run Boots in the rank up spell. And then in the extra deck, you actually have a pretty good decent commitment in the extra deck because you have to play curious caliuga absolutes and is that it that's all you have to play i'm pretty sure oh and the um raging tempest of course which is this is the proxy for it so I, i'm going to test it a little bit more see if maybe it's worth using if i do end up actually playing this i might actually bump up the phantom spell or the rank up spell to like two or three because if you mill it off curious like i said before you pretty much end your play and you have a really lackluster board. i guess you make appaloosa for like two but that's really not that great uh and i guess with the new master roll changes i don't know if this combo will be as good come that master change uh there is also the possibility that they hit the rank up spell again or they hit kaliuga again because kaliuga should be easier to summon either way i'm rambling let me just think about the combo in the description down below or in the comments down below and i'll see you guys next time Bye bye